gotten to, there is a statue in it. That is the statue of one of our um, top politicians, J.B. Dankwa. J.B. Dankwa, the man himself. That's J.B. Dankwa's statue. So this place, they call it Dankwa Circle. Call it Dankwa Circle. That's part of Accra. If you recall, I told you, we have British Accra, we have Danish Accra, we have Dutch Accra. This is Danish Accra. This was the area in which the Danes settled, especially along the coast, which is ahead of us. So they refer to this area as Danish Accra. They came under Danish influence. So there are some families here that bear the names of uh, that have Danish names, names like Lutrot, Richta, these are not indigenous Ghanaian names or Ghan names. They are names of Danish traders who got married to the local people and then settled in the community. When the Danes left after the abolishment of the slave trade and then sold off their properties to the British, the castle that the slave dungeon that they built from which they were operating, known as the Christianburg Castle or the Osu Castle, was taken over by the British. So that was where they ran their administration. If you recall also, when I was talking to you about the Flagstaff House or the Jubilee House, I mentioned at the point that the administration was run from that side, but at the point it was moved to the castle. That is the Christian Burke castle, started here in Osu. So those people have, aside the Danes, they also came under British influence. So the street we are on right now is called Oxford Street. Oxford Street. And here, life on the street is 24 hours round the clock. Crazy for real. This is one of the areas that never sleeps. Never sleeps. Serious. And it. And along this particular street, or this part of Accra, it's a home to a lot of restaurants. Yes, yes. A lot of restaurants. A lot of activities take place on this particular Oxford Street. And the restaurant we are going to is also on this particular street. We'll make a stop at Frankie's restaurant. So for now, we are on the Oxford Street, located right in Osu. Osu. Thank you. Yes, family, Osu. Yes, family, this is the first place I landed in Ghana, from the old Accra airport, yes. right to Osu. Yes, I did, you came here. 2006, I remember it like it was yesterday. I even remember the Ragby Hotel that we stayed in. It was a beautiful experience. It's just yeah, yeah. And the fact to see the place just grow like this is incredible. And the good thing about Frank is uh, we can just you know we can get, we can just hop out real quick because the traffic is moving slow. We can just hop out and just uh, walk up. Yeah. They will get a space for him to park. They will get a space for him to park. And so the thing about that, also the road, the roads oh, are so tight. Oh, don't, 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 don't. Like yesterday, we couldn't get to the restaurant, so we just, you know, we end up just walking a little bit. Oh, I see. Yeah, okay. Yes, yes. Who wants to do some shopping? God, this is this is the shopper's paradise. Market, so <laughs> 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 I'm just messing with you. 
You shopped out? We haven't begun to start shopping, trust me. You're gonna see so many things you're gonna love. You gotta give us some money then, man. <laughs> Yo, I, I've been trying to, I've been trying to call Muhammad to come meet us somewhere. <laughs> but I promise her. Can he meet us at the restaurant? I'm, I'm gonna get it worked out for you. Um, let me y'all see what he's talking about. Yeah. Down here, this is the vibrant OC. I noticed they have a lot there. Yeah. And I've been trying to communicate with him, I haven't heard from him. Um, I figure he could just meet us at Nkuma Memorial and then we just go to the culture center and give everybody max time to just do what they need to do. Uh, and then I'm just gonna push the, the dinner and the conference time back. If it gets tight. Provided you are money to our lunch, no problem. Then he can be at the panic moment. Yes, and family at nighttime this place is live oh, and wild. Yeah. It is it is a whole different world. Yeah. <laughs> I, I know there's a lot more casinos here. Yes, the nightlife fest are only waiting for the and sun got to clubs give everywhere. Yeah. So if you're looking for vibing here to you know, to really just enjoy some night energy. Also, we do it for you.